One of the more amazing facts about animals is how so many of them use camouflage to either hide from predators or even hide from potential prey. A well-camouflaged animal simply blends into its surroundings, whether it is the ocean floor, the forest floor, or the leaves or bark of a tree. Sometimes, animal camouflage is so complete that the animal seems to disappear. There are 10 examples of animal camouflage that make the animal basically invisible. Their name suggests, these insects off the order Phasmatodia resemble twigs or sticks, and some species that live in the tropics resemble leaves. They are found everywhere on Earth save Patagonia and Antarctica. When they stop moving, as they do when they sense a predator nearby, they are almost impossible to see. There are over 300 species of walking stick insects, and they range in length from 0.5 of an inch to as much as 12 inches. Most walking sticks are brownish, gray, or green, with a striped head. They feed at night on the leaves of the shrubs and trees that give them shelter and can sometimes become a pest, especially on oaks. By the way, if imitating a twig doesn't deter a predator or even a human collector, the walking stick can spray an offensive fluid. Other walking sticks protect themselves with spines sharp enough to inflict wounds. The name of this lizard is nearly synonymous with animal camouflage as its ability to change the color and pattern of its skin is nearly unrivaled. They are lizards of warm climates and are found in parts of the Middle East, Southwestern Asia, and Southern Europe, Madagascar, nearly all of Africa, and parts of India and Sri Lanka. There are now populations in Hawaii, Florida, and California. They thrive in rainforests as well as deserts. The chameleon not only changes color to escape predators but to hide from prey, as it is itself an efficient predator. They have eyes like turrets that can move independently of each other, but when focused on the prey they work together to give the lizard three-dimensional vision. Some species of these lizards are so good at animal camouflage that they change color according to the vision of their predator. For example, many birds of prey can sense ultraviolet light, and the chameleon will adjust its colors accordingly. Scorpionfish is not only a master of animal camouflage but is one of the most venomous fish in the world. A huge family of 100 to 200 species, they are found all over the world in warm waters but are most common in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Scorpionfish are about 8 to 12 inches long and weigh a little over 3 pounds. Scorpionfish get their name because of the dangerous stinging spines found on their body, especially in their dorsal fin. Spines are covered in venomous mucus and protect the animals from predators, but their coloring helps to hide the fish from potential prey. These include shrimp and crabs. Stonefish is especially adept at this, for as its name says, it resembles a stone lying on the floor of the sea. Because a lot of scorpionfish live in shallow waters, this makes them something of a hazard for scuba divers and snorkelers. Despite this, people catch scorpionfish because their flesh is good eating. Nightjar is a medium-sized bird that is active at night or at dusk. They have tiny bills, large mouths, and long wings and are found everywhere save New Zealand and some parts of Oceania. As they have their nests on the ground, their plumage comes in shades of brown, buff, gray and black, which allows them to blend in with the forest floor. Not only this, but during the day these birds tend to lay along tree branches instead of sitting on them like other birds. This also helps to hide them. Nightjars are 10 to 12 inches in length, weigh around 0.18 of a pound in life 4 years on average. Despite its skill at animal camouflage, some nightjar species are critically endangered. This may be because these birds rest on roads and get run over by cars. Crab spider gets its name because it holds its front legs and scuttles much the way a tiny crab would. There are over 2,000 species of Tomicity crab spider, and they live all over the world. They're also called flower spiders because they sometimes sit on a flower and wait for prey such as a butterfly or other pollinator to come. Then they ambush it. The range in size from about 0.16 of an inch to 0.3 of an inch. Some crab spider species are able to change their color to match the color of the flower they rest on. Not only this, the spider sometimes turns the color of their prey. Other crab spiders mimic tree bark or bird droppings. In some crab spider species, the females are many times larger than the males. Not all large beasts good at animal camouflage use it to hide from predators. Leopard's only real enemy is its cousin the lion, and if there are no lions in its territory, this big cat is the apex predator. It is not only found in Africa but in some parts of the Middle East and Central Asia, in India, Southeast Asia, and even East Asia. It is a large but lithe cat whose fur is famously full of rosettes. These rosettes are what allow the leopard to hide in trees and wait, unnoticed, for prey. Male leopards are bigger and heavier than females. 
are about 23.5 to 27.5 inches at the shoulder, while the females are a couple of inches shorter. Males weighed between 82 and 198 pounds, while females weighed between 62 and 132 pounds. This hare is famous for both living in the Arctic and for its pure white fur. This animal camouflage allows it to nearly disappear into the snowy landscape where it lives. It is a big hare and can range from 17 to 28 inches long without counting the length of the tail and can weigh between 6 and 12 pounds. The more southern part of its range, its fur turns gray or brown during the summer then turns snowy white in the winter. But in the extreme north, the hare's fur stays white all year. It's surprising that such a small creature can survive such a frigid climate. Luckily, Arctic hares are equipped with short ears and nose, compact bodies, high body fat, and thick fur. Their small size gives them easy access to food within small rock crevices other animals can't reach. So even in the harsh and bare landscape, they manage to find moss and woody plants, berries, buds, leaves, bark, and roots. But they'll also scavenge among fish and reindeer carcasses to survive. Like nearly every other species of owl, the long-eared owl comes in shades of brown, black, gray, and buff, the better to let it blend into the woods where it lives. Even during the daytime, it is hard to see as it rests in the crotch of a tree. Found in North America, Eurasia, Europe, and Asia, this bird augments its animal camouflage with near-silent wing beats. Upshot is the prey neither sees nor hears the bird coming. The long-eared owl resembles the great horned owl in that it has ear tufts, but it's smaller and slimmer. This doesn't mean it's a small bird. The owl can be 12 to 16 inches.